Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Today I have an interesting workflow for you guys. Of course it's in N8N. This one is a financial tracker. So with this workflow, it will basically replace all the headaches that you have to do. Collecting invoices, collecting receipts, and all of that headache that comes with that. So now it will be all connected to an AI agent that will handle basically everything for you. So to, to just jump right in, this agent or this workflow, you just feed it whatever receipts that you get, whether it is images or PDF, any invoices that you get, whether it's images or PDF, or even it takes audio. So if you ever out and you pay for something and you don't have an actual receipt or an invoice and you paid for it, you can just send this agent at a voice note that you just what you paid and it will add it for you to your database. So this is a very powerful, as you can see in front of you, very powerful agent that handles most of the cases that you will run into when it comes to handling your invoices, handling your financial statements and everything. But before I start, I just want to test this out with you guys in front of you so we can see how this goes. Okay, so as first we see that this agent is connected to a, a Telegram. So Telegram is very, very cool and is very accessible to everyone basically. And you can basically access everything in this with this chat connector piece. Okay, so as you can see here inside of the workflow here, we start with a trigger so this gets triggered by whatever message you send to your agent and this has a switch node now this switch node has lots of outputs okay but it's it's basically based on whatever the message is so if the message is an audio it will take this audio path and with this audio path it will get the file get the files from telegram get the audio file from telegram it will transcribe it using open ai and then it will send the text to to this to this node okay so this node is basically a general node that as you can see all nodes feed into this one now if if the if the message is a photo or an image now what's the difference because because inside of telegram once you send an image it tells you do you want to compress it or don't you want to compress it and both of these options are there if you choose compress or not both of these options are there it will take whatever options you take and then it will download the asset which is the image in this case it will upload it so this is a very important step here it will upload it into google drive because we want basically you want a copy of that financial statement it's an image it's on your pc it was, uh, sorry it's on your mobile you just maybe took a photo of it you don't even have it on your mobile so what we want is to keep a copy of that so we'll, we'll upload it and then we'll download it again so that we get a copy saved to our drive. Once we download it, then we feed it into, of course, analyze image with OpenAI to analyze and extract all the text from that image. And once we get all the text, we'll feed it again to this node that, has er that everything's connected to. Now, what if it is a different type of image? We'll do the same. We'll download whatever type of image. We'll upload it to google drive we'll download it again and we will analyze and pull out all the text from within the image now in case of a pdf so here you can see we have a root for pdf so in case of a pdf what we do is we will download the pdf as usual as we did with all those steps we'll upload it to our google drive to keep a copy then we'll download it again and then here we will we are feeding it to an extract node so this extract node it's available within n n okay so we extract all text from this pdf and then we again again we feed it we feed everything to this user message so as you can see these this user user message is connected to all of the end nodes of this why are we, why am I doing this? Is because I want one node that feeds into the agent. Okay, I don't want all of these nodes to be feeding here. I want just one node to be feeding, and it, this node basically takes whatever 
the outcome of all of these nodes. So it's the JSON. So if, if, you, if, if I click on this, as you can see here, it's a JSON. If it's a JSON and, and I have this small if statement here that takes all of the cases. So after I figured out what is the type of, uh, of this message, and I, if it is audio, I turn it into text. If it is an image, I ex extracted all of the text from that image. If it's a PDF, I also pulled out all the text from that. So everything is now ready with this node. It, it's filled with text of whatever I uploaded. Okay. So basically, after we do that, we just feed that to our AI financial agent. Now, this is a very powerful agent with a powerful prompt here that basically what we're saying is that you are a financial uh, agent. You are you, you, you're tasked with extracting information from a text that comes to you to basically feed into, to, to extract all the information, all the financial information in terms of invoices, due dates, date, and, every, and all the fields that are necessary, okay? We also specified a structured output parser because we don't want just any random type of JSON to get in here. We want a very structured, very well handled one. Okay. And after we do this, we connect this to a brain, which is GPT 4.1. And you can connect it to Gemini as well. You can connect it to whatever agent that you're comfortable with. I use Opera Router here because I have one account that gets access to all AI models and I just fill that uh, account with some money. It doesn't have to be a lot. And then I can access all models. Now with this one, what I'm doing is since sometimes I'm feeding it audio. So I want, if I, if I send an audio, I want to the agent to get back with an audio because chances are I'm, I'm driving or I'm doing something and I'm busy. I cannot type. So this is why I send an audio. And then the reply is also, I'm busy, I can't read. So it's better to reply also with an audio. So here, what it checks if it's the, if it's an audio based, then it takes to this route. If it's a text based, it takes to this route. So if it is audio, it will take whatever message that the AI agent came up with, and then it will generate an audio based on that, and it will send it to a message, and then it will append our database. And then if it's text, it will just send the text and it will append our database. Now, if we go to our database here, it's just this one, this sheet. It has just vendor name. It has also vendor address, the invoice date, the due date, invoice number, total amount, currency, payment method, notes. And also this is very important is the link to our to our invoice to have because this is from our drive. So if, if, I, if I ever want to revise that, I can revise this. All right, so as you can see how powerful this, this agent and this workflow is, I want to test it out with you guys. So now that we have everything in line so we can just execute workflow and now it will hear and it will wait for messages. So let me get Telegram here. So this is our bot. And then what I'm doing is I am going to feed in a image first, an image based receipt. Okay. And then I'm going to feed it the receipt. And then as you can see, as I told you, there's a compressed and a non-compressed version. I'm going to keep the compressed one and I'm going to send. So as you, as you will see here, it will process. The agent will start working here to upload it. It will extract all the text and then it will feed it to our own agent and then as you can see how powerful that is we got sent our message and updated our database so let's go back to the telegram agent here and let's see it it, it says the invoice from hotel restaurant bar has been saved to the drive and added to your database how awesome is that so let's go ahead and see the database here and as you can see, it already added all of that with an image. Perfect. Now let's try something else. So we sent an image. Let's send a PDF here. I'm going to open up Telegram here and I'm going to send a, first of all, let's, let's execute workflow. And then I'm going to 
send this PDF, okay? So I'm gonna send it and then I'm going to check out what happens here. So it went exactly to the, to, uh, to the uh, PDF route and then did the thing again. Everything ran as smooth as possible. Let's go to Telegram. It tells us that the invoice has been added. So let's go ahead and see. We'll go to our here and then we can see it is added with everything, even the drive. That is awesome. So the last bit that I want to check with you guys is the voice. And in order to do that, I'm going to get Telegram back here and I'm going to send a voice. Let's, let's test. Hey, I just paid a receipt here to a restaurant, to a uh, Japanese restaurant, and I paid $25. Can you please add that? Forgot to execute workflow, so I'm going to execute now. And as you can see, it went to the audio and on to the agent here. And okay, we got our answer back. Let's see. The invoice from Japanese restaurant has been saved to drive and added to the database. Perfect. So it got back with a, with a voice. So it tells me that it added it to the database. So let's go. There you go. Japanese restaurant amount. And perfect. Because we didn't add file. It told us no file added. So this is really, really powerful. This will save you lots and lots and lots of headaches. Moving forward in terms of managing all your financial. Because you only need that chat that telegram chat open once you activate this workflow and you have that chat open whether you're on the road whether you're paying in a restaurant whether you're paying for parking whatever receipt that you get pull out telegram take a picture of it and send it and you and forget about it because simply the the invoice that you took picture of goes to your drive for just to have a copy of that, it will add it to your database here that you can check at the end of the month. It will make sure to send you a confirmation of what it did and everything that you need to know about all of the invoices and also PDF that you, you might have. All right, so you don't have to worry about the whole setup of this because I'm going to download this. So. I will download this so you can import from file and I will provide this in my community here AI automation kit as well as like more than 67 workflows and courses documentation tools discounts and everything I would love to see you inside you so you can ask questions if you run into any trouble setting any of the uh, setting up any of the workflows I am there for you there to answer your questions, to help you along the way to grow so you can save time with automation and then you could also resell those automation and build your own. All right, so if you guys enjoyed this lesson, please give it a like, subscribe for more videos in the future, and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.